So if you've been following me on Instagram or if you've been a part of my live streams on YouTube, you'll know that I was talking about all these new tanks that are coming. And today, this is the first video of a new series for, you know, our first tank. And I actually, and there'll be videos coming up, but I actually have all the tanks that are going to be in this room. So I got the 45C and then I got the 45P that is actually right behind me. And then the 45C is going to be next to the 90P. I actually have all those tanks now. But this will more likely be the first one I set up because, number one, I really like it. I mean, I'm really into the shallows already. And I think the scape's going to be super sick. And then plus, I already pretty much have the equipment good to go. And I just think it's going to be the more, most fun to do first. So, And for what I'm going to put in it, which as you guys know, I'm going to put some really high dollar shrimp. So I kind of want to get this going and cycling before. So by the time we can get to that point, we can go ahead and put shrimp. Because this will probably run for three or four months before I even put shrimp in here. Because the sun's the high dollar ones i'm probably gonna get some galaxy pintos or some bees just something really or taiwan bees just something real high dollar you know even if i spend 70 80 bucks a shrimp i mean so we want to definitely take this one step at a time and make sure we do everything right so when that time comes we order those we make sure that you know we actually are successful at that and it's super expensive so we don't want to kill anything off too so that's why i want to get this going so at least it's running and we can make a few videos about it, do a lot of the equipment, and talk about the setup, and then, and then, and then we'll end up doing the other tank probably or the 45C, depending on which it is. Depends on money, which one I want to decide to do first. But there'll be videos between in between, you know, doing this tank, and so time will fly by, and before we know it, we'll we'll be able to stock this tank. But so as we know, this is the ADA 60F, which is now discontinued. But actually, all their shallow tanks are discontinued. So the 45F and then the 60F, which I think those are the only two. So, so I actually snagged the last one, probably the last one in the United States. To be honest, I probably this was more likely the last one there was, and so I got pretty lucky with this one and the 45C. That was 100% the last one in America for sure. So, because as we know, Alka Force is the main retailer. Well, they are the retailer for ADA in the United States. So if they don't have it, nobody else is gonna have it. So, so I was lucky to pick up that 45C, but that's besides the point. This is all about the 60F. So, obviously, 8 inches tall, 2 feet wide, and then I think it's like 12, 13 inches wide. I can't, I have to confirm that, but it's, so it's, it has good depth, and, you know, what I like about this one is it is 2 feet, so it's pretty big compared to, you know, like the 45F, which is, you know, obviously a 45P, which is only 18 inches, so really small, but this one's real big, so you can really do something cool, which is why, this will make like the perfect shrimp tank. So as you see, so I got some foam in the corner just to keep it up off the desk for now. Not that it matters, but just somewhat protection. Obviously, I mean, this can still get all dinged up, but that's besides the point. Just to keep it off the ground and keep whatever I can protected. And then, and then the wood, I did buy the wood and this is the wood I put in here. Now I was kind of playing with it and this looks like this is going to be a, about what the scape's going to be like. Obviously, I'm going to get stone and things are going to change. I, I'm definitely going to play more with this wood. But this will be somewhat of what the look you're going to expect for this tank to look like. There'll, there'll definitely be this. I really like how this looks. And the I've been going for this look where a lot of stuff is going to be sticking out. And I think how it is right now, I think it's going to work out perfect. You know, obviously, there's going to be stones in the front, a sand in the front. You know, there's definitely going to be soil packed all the way to the, you know, height of this over here. So we can really, like maybe like plant the carpet down the middle of this two logs and it's gonna be then we're gonna have um, immersed plants grown out of it so so I think it's gonna be a really neat scape and I'm not gonna talk about much today because there's a lot of videos I'm gonna be able to make with this you know with like you know filter light set up because I am gonna do an O and F above this tank just because it's slim and then with this tank being slim and then the light being slim I think it'll go together pretty good and it's dimmable as you can see I have boards right above me and I moved them up once and I really don't want to um, tear, tear the wall up again and move it so right now it's about 12 inches so if I, if I can at least hang the O and F 12 inches and except it has an app control where I can actually dim it so that makes it nice so actually it doesn't matter what height I have it I can dim it so I'll just do a max height that I can and then yeah then if I need to dim it because it's a really strong light I mean it's the same amount of water that my twin star that's running my 90p so 
a lot of light for this tank, and I'm more than likely I'm not gonna have any like really high tech plants in here. More like the Moot, Nubius, Boost. I might have mines of Carlo, like I was saying, like maybe carpet this like middle section. I might do that, but that'd be like I mean, you really highlight wouldn't be exactly required for that, but we'll see what happens. And then you know, obviously the immersed plants. Obviously that's I mean, plenty of light for any species of immersed bear. So. So, and there might be a few other, like, um, pinophilia, um, that I might use, but overall what I'm trying to get is, is there's not going to be really any plants that are going to be too difficult or that won't be able to grow in this tank. So the light, so the, the O and F is going to be plenty of light for whatever we want to do. Um, and so, so yeah, so like sand, obviously I got like tons of La Plata, so I'll definitely use that. I have Colorado too, but Colorado is more like a tan. And you really have to have the right skate for that. And it just looks too dark to me. So I really like the Laplata. It's just a nice neutral color. And it's going to look really nice with this wood. So, so yeah. And then obviously you see right here, I got the Super Jet. And that will go on this tank. Um, I actually bought it with the 45P. Um, somebody sold it to me. And that was actually, you know, technically it's for the 45P. But instead of doing this tank first, I'm just going to use this filter on this tank. Because I'm already going to have to buy another 300, which is that one. Uh, another 300 for that 45 piece, so I'll have to buy another one anyway. So, but instead of doing this tank first, I'll just go ahead and use this one on this one. So, and then yeah, I got, and then last thing, I don't want to make this video too long, I just kind of give you guys a little introduction. But I don't don't expect me to actually start doing anything for maybe until like March because I've I'm, I got a lot of stuff with like work and stuff coming up, so I doubt I'll be able to get to this. But just to give you guys a little little teaser but so for output I'm actually going to use this one by ADA um, you see it's really small compared to you know, my 17 milliliters but I could have used the regular just like flower lily which is what they call that shape you know you guys know what I'm talking about but this is just like the jet flow which is a straight stream and with this tank being longer I think it's gonna work out better and it's just and it's less pipe you know instead of having that big flower um, lily pipe that will probably, I mean, if I had it in here, it'd probably stick out to here. So it would be very large compared to this small tank. So having just minimalistic as possible. And I mean, obviously you can see, it's gonna hit the phone, but you can see like how like, you can barely see that. And it kind of, it actually does look kind of nice like that. So this will look really nice on this tank. And I think it'll work out, cause, it'll, cause the way this tank's gonna be scaped, you know, blowing all this way, I think that's gonna just be effective anyways. But, and then, and then the um, input, I actually do have a mini input, but it's too tall for this tank, only being eight inches. The pipe itself is eight inches, so I can't use it because even if I, because once I have the substrate in here, then it's gonna be real. Then it's really gonna be too long. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a regular uh, V3, which is what they call it. It's V3, V5. It's just different size meanings, but it's just the regular, you know, your classic input with just the U shape and those actually have suction cups the mini the mini is like this one and the mini input don't so with that one having suction cups i can actually raise it up higher and then suction cup it so it actually holds in place and that and that way we can still actually get um we can still actually use like a glass input on that because if if that doesn't work then then we're kind of screwed then we have to use something other than a glass lily pipe and i'd rather than match um, so hopefully that works out. It should. I don't know why I want it. So I have to. I got that one of those ordered, and so yeah, I'm kind of just rambling at this point. So you guys are still watching. Thanks, but I'm just kind of going over some things. But so yeah, that's like a quick rundown of what I'm thinking. Obviously, this will be the first start of the series, so I'll, I'll do. I'll make a new playlist for this video and add that on there. But we'll see how this goes. And of course, this of course I'll we'll make all kinds of videos. We'll do a time lapse of me, you know, actually like physically scaping and planting it, and when that time comes. And expect next video to be an unboxing of. I'll, I'll show this video first, but then expect next week to be an unboxing of that ADA jet, because most people don't um, ever have the money to buy those, or there's rarely any good videos on YouTube on ADA jets. So I'm gonna definitely make one. For you guys so yeah other than that i don't want to make this video too long um but come like subscribe if you have any questions definitely ask me on instagram or down below in the comments but other than that yeah i'll see you guys in the next one